Morning, even afternoon. Tim and Tam Man 2, just chatting podcast version of me. Got a banger for you today, baby. Call of Duty has a new season. It's going to be here very soon. So what you're about to watch in this is me checking out all of the new stuff in season four, which is going to be coming out, I believe, this Thursday. New guns, new POI, fast travel. There's a lot of stuff here. And obviously on the roadmap, they kind of lay it all out for you. So this is me going through and reading. Not the best at reading, but reading all of the new stuff that's going to be coming. Be sure to drop a like on this and share it with a friend. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, Tim and Tab Man 2 over here at the sub button, ring the bell. Be sure to tell somebody you love them. Okay, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, it's the season four roadmap. All right, let's take a look. Let's look at this quick. All right, season four roadmap. Let's take a gander. War zone, map updates, satellite crash sites, Verdansk, Resurgence Mini Payload. That'll be interesting. New Gulag, hijacked Gulag, big W. New vehicle, which is a dirt bike. And red doors. Jackal, Sala, Weaver, new score streak, hand cannon. Okay, wait. These, so these are new guns. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be like a fast travel, you guys think? Nice. You got a C58, you got an MG82, nail gun, OTS9, and a mace for new guns that are coming in. That's cool. Wait, how do you guys know this is gonna be like a fast travel? How do you know that? It got leaked? Oh, shit. damn. I'll just look at multiplayer too, why not? Collateral, hijack, 6v6. Even though I don't play multiplayer, a uh, huge W for hijacked. One of the best Call of Duty maps. Amsterdam, Rush, six versus six. That seems kind of cool. One, one in the chamber. I used to love that game mode. Capture the flag, multi-team stat link. Zombies, new outbreak, new map, new outbreak quest. Okay. This operator is pretty dope too, to be honest with you. Wait, June 17th. Wait, that's this week. Wait, that's, is this Thursday this comes out on? I think this is Rush from Black Ops 2. This comes out this week. W, man. I'm excited for these new guns, man. I'm excited to check it out. And it says there's a season event, Groundfall. So do you guys think the event is on the 17th, chat? Season four operators, okay. Ja Jackal, W. Sala, W. Weaver. It looks pretty cool, actually. W. All right, five new weapons. What is it? What's going on with this guy right here? MG82, LMG, full... Wait, isn't the MG... MG82 is already in the game, right? Am I crazy? Oh, it's M60. That's what I'm thinking of. Is this like a reactive operator? Am I seeing this right now? I don't know if that's like a subtle hint or something, but that guy looks pretty cool. C58 assault rifle. Oh, that's this right here. Okay, so that's, um, my bad, that's the MG82. This is full auto assault rifle, high damage, close range, slower rate of fire, fast bullet velocity, reliable recoil. C58. What, what this was in, um, you guys are saying it's like the FAL. It kind of looks like the FAL. I kind of agree with you. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of gun this will be. That'll be interesting to use. Nail gun. Okay, I don't know how this gun's gonna be. <laughs> Autom fully automatic nail gun, 1980, Precursor for the variant in futuristic Black Ops 3. Slow firing, highly mobile power tool, compressed air, launched fast moving projectiles deal high damage. Expect to put a nail or three in your competition's coffin after successful hits within a few meters. Oh God. I, I, hey man, dual wield nail guns? Let's get it, baby. OTS 9. This is a new SMG. Great stopping power, phenomenal rate of fire. OTS 9 is hindered by its low magazine capacity of 20 rounds. Those who control its recoil will find it work well in individual engagements. It's available magazine attachments holds its own 20. I don't know, bro. I mean, 20 round magazine, unless you have a bigger one is not going to work. <laughs> and then a, a mace. I mean, that thing just looks cool. Get medieval on your enemies with a melee weapon, hand to hand combat. <laughs> That's season four, man. And then obviously the multiplayer maps, which I kind of talked about a little bit. This, do you guys remember this? This is Black Ops 2. Rush. I want to make sure I'm right with this. Oh, it says it right there. Black Ops 2. Yeah, dude, this is, a, I used to love this map, side note. Um, new multiplayer mode. One in the chamber. One in the chamber is one of the best game modes. 
in my opinion. It's kind of interesting. They have a new score streak too, a hand cannon. And then this is zombie stuff. And then this, okay, this is the stuff I want to see with Warzone. New POIs. Several satellites have crashed in Verdansk, leaving you and your squad to investigate the rubble. Although they won't appear on your TAC map, satellite crash sites will be plainly visible in Verdansk as the debris and impact landscape is significant. Besides offering new opportunities for cover, satellites themselves can also be secured. Interesting. Interact with sat links found in the area to, to work toward receiving permanent rewards in the ground fall event at the beginning of the season. Also secure helpful items to use during the match, such as powerful kill streaks, vehicles, and field upgrades. Okay. I mean, some new POI. It's kind of cool. Red doors. This is what you guys are talking about, bro. Oh, this was the thing in the um during the launch, right? During the nuke. Side note, I just want to say real quick, do you think these satellites are gonna have um specialists? That could be kind of cool. I know they took it away, but I was thinking about that. Because it said that. You can get powerful kill streaks vehicles field upgrades from here by securing it so i wonder i don't know we'll see all right these, these the red doors these are very interesting to me our intel cannot explain the origin of these mysterious red doors around verdansk but one thing is certain they allow you to redacted around the redacted what what's behind them explore more and enter them to redacted across the redacted so you're basically just going to be able to teleport around the map red doors won't blank unless you ping them and you have to step through there's no telling blank exiting out on the other side and stepping into a blank so it seems like they're implementing like a fast travel i wonder how that'll go i'm kind of cool with that are you guys cool with that my thing is here's my thing i, I like being able to move faster in warzone here's my issue with this i have a gut feeling here's my feeling and i'll see if this is right when this actually comes out I think this is going to be random. So what that means is you can hop in one and it can put you at a random spot. Remember how in a subway, you at least go to the right spot. Like I have a feeling these are going to be random. So it's almost going to be useless. We'll see. I don't know. We'll, we'll have, I'll have to try them out obviously on the update and then hijacked gulag <laughs> round of applause. Prepare for your mission in black house, cold war and rival with Warzone with a mock-up classic map hijacked, which can replace the current standoff gulag with season four launches. This true, true and cated. I'm probably saying that wrong. This true and tr tr true, Tim, it's trunk aided. Got it. This trunk aided version of plywood recreation of the yacht central area, prime location for important objectives such as domination flag and multiplayer, which has the same location as overtime in the gulag. No need to worry about rough waters here, although you might have to avoid hitting the rocks being thrown from balconies, W. And then new vehicle, motorcycle. Terror on two wheels, survives in war zone with the release of the dirt bike. First brand new vehicle to drop in war zone. Ramp up your off-road antics with this extremely maneuverable scrambler scattered across Verdansk, ready to use at the start of the match. With it, I wonder if it's gonna be one person. With an excellent turning radius, carry yourself and a companion, so it's a two-seater, across the concrete jungle, up goat trails, and down rock-filled ravines at ease. Deft and nimble, this is a new option to war zone ground transportation, including the, to compete with the ATV. Okay, so the ATV and the dirt bike are both gonna be in, interesting. In addition to becoming the new fastest vehicle in Warzone, okay, so the dirt bike is faster than the quad, the dirt bike will have some unique handling properties such as wheel traction, sliding, drifting, and vehicle leaning, allowing you to take epic hairpin turns, dodge oncoming fire, or pull off a stunt by controlling your orientation in the air. That can be kind of cool. In addition, all dirt bike skins you may have unlocked in Black Ops Cold War and previous battle pass will be accessible, allowing you to customize it and saddle up. W. Uh, downtown under new management. The downtown complex across the financial district is here to stay after its tenant decided to move west to sunny LA. This POI is now referred to as oper by operators as downtown tower and has has had its vault open and cleared of its valuables, but remains a vast and strategically valuable location. Okay, so they're keeping the big tower in and then new game modes for Don's resurgence resurgence mini and for Don's resurgence mini launch. Oh, and payload. I'm actually, what is payload going to be? 
Wars on the source killer be killed in season four operators are dropped in the first ever objective based payload and payload you and 39 other operators drop in to escort two caravans of vehicles through a series of checkpoints or sabotage missions build or destroy bar barriers and purchase buildings to aid you and your squad's mission it's kind of interesting it's like overwatch almost <laughs> june 17th opening day for baseball bat Baseball bat being shown above with spring training and Black Ops co-work complete when season four launches, baseball bat enters a robust melee. Oh, it's shows some baseball bat as well. New prestiges. This one's kind of fire, bro. What? They're all actually, the, dude, these prestige icons are actually dope. Um, Black Ops Cold War and Warzone gifting system. Hot off the heels, season four introduces a brand new way to help the squad by gifting them Call of Duty content. What? Starting in season four, friends can send the battle pass battle pass bundle or store bundles to one another within black ops cold war in warzone players will be able to receive gifts at the start of the season with additional gifting functionality planned for later in the season that's kind of a w more information on this will be available in season four battle pass and breakdowns on june 15th that's kind of cool so you can gift bundles to your friends i wonder how many content creators are going to start like gifting to like people that are subbed and stuff i bet that's a that's a cool idea um season four update will be available june 15th at 9 p.m pt so that is that thursday night chat thursday night wait june 15th is tomorrow wait what oh it will be available for warzone june 16th okay so june 16th 9 p.m okay so i basically tomorrow's tuesday wednesday so i'll see it thursday basically warzone download oh god <laughs> Here we go. PlayStation 5, 30 gigs. PlayStation 4, 15 gigs. Xbox Series X, 31, 17.7. Xbox One, 21.6 to PC. Nice. Oh, wait. That's. Oh, that's just Cold War. Warzone. 11, 11, 11, 11. Oh, not as bad, actually. 12 for PC. Nice. That's a W, man. I mean, I'll be excited to see some of that new stuff. I mean, here's what I'll say I, changes in Warzone, keeping it fresh. Um, that's what we want to see. So, W. I'm excited to uh, see see that kind of play out.